Hello, I'm Herm Gailey here on a cool January day. Cool as in just getting above freezing, grounds just starting to thaw out a little bit. Not fit to ride yet, later probably will be. But I wanted to do a postscript anyway from our video from last week, which was called Working with a Colt Who's Quick on the Kick. Uh, this is the Colt. Uh, he's no longer as quick on the kick, which is good to see. However, in that video, I did something that I hate when somebody does it to me and I'm the watcher. And that is, I said, I'll show you how to tie this knot in his tail. And then he wiggled around and got out of position and I didn't realize it and it didn't show a doggone thing. So as promised in that video, we're going to put up a very short bonus video showing how to tie the tail knot. I did say in that video that that knot is technically known as a sheet bend. Let me sharpen that up a little and say that it is my version of a sheet bend. If somebody who knows knots looks at this, they may say, that's not what that is. Well, it's the nearest thing I can tie or it's the nearest approximation to my understanding of that knot. I do know it works pretty well to tie into a horse's tail. So I'm gonna get over here And this will give us a little opportunity to have a refresher for him on this process. So what you do is you take the tail and you take the rope. It's a little cord. And you take the cord across the tail. You then double the tail back. And you want to hold that securely. Just go around that tail. See? Go the whole way around and tuck it in. Tuck it in to that loop that's formed when you go around the tail, and then you pull it nice and tight. If you don't pull it tight, it's going to come loose. This is not a thousand percent reliable, especially when there isn't much tension on it. With tension, it'll really hold, but it will tend to work its way out if it's just sort of floating in the breeze. Now, that's how you tie that, very straightforward. Let's see how this colt is, because he has not been exposed to this again since a couple of weeks ago when we made that video. Let's see if he is what I call a, a day after horse. There are some horses I think of as same day horses. The filly that's his pasture mate is a same day horse. She gets it that day. She doesn't need to think about it. On the other hand, overnight she may even forget it a little bit. This colt so far has been more of a next day horse. When we put him up he was still a little touchy about that being in his tail. Haven't done a darn thing with him since. Let's see if he's quieter and I'm betting he will be just based on his pattern. So he's walking along and if you remember the last time he was pretty accepting, but a little troubled. This time, as I had hoped, he's being pretty reliable. Now that is actually tied way too long, and it's, it could get a wrap around his, uh, his leg, which isn't fair to him. But he's taking it, so I'm just going to accept the fact that I should have tied it shorter, and accept that as evidence that he's really gotten pretty reliable about this and that maybe that reflexive kick that he tended to do when something bumped into his hind leg is going to be gone. As I said in the other video, not a mean bone in this colt's body, but he's pretty reactive and I didn't want a dog or a kid or even me to bump into that hind leg, startle him, and get him to reflexively kick. You can see that none of this is causing him any stress. Uh, so we're going to let well enough alone and accept the fact that he is sort of a horse that thinks about things and luckily comes to the right conclusions. Thank you for that, Mike. Thanks for watching. And if you need to tie into a horse's tail, this is a method you can use.